What's up, beautiful people, and welcome to the biggest entertainment show on the planet, where we analyze and dissect the trend in entertainment story. This is Plus TV Africa, and my name is Afel Lua Oshinkere. And I've got my co-anchors with me, the elegant Ewa Oritu and the sophisticated Benny Ak. What's going on, guys? Oh, that changed. That changed this afternoon. The, the early on the morning was the experience. <laughs> I like that. Like yeah. yeah, I like it I like too. That. So, what's good? What's good, guys? How's your day been? It's been working, working for me. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, from so work I to think work, I think it's been working, working. from a meeting to yeah. So yeah, mine has been with loads of experience. It's a Monday. It's a Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Mondays are always busy. They came for me like, you're going to learn today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's what's up. So we're going to be moving to the first story for the day, which is Yomi Black, who just took a Makinwa to open up an Al Shea Ford's Al a lifestyle is <laughs> innovating that it's not the endorsement or a salary from being an OAP that affords her a lifestyle. So Kemal Kinwa has responded by calling Yemi Black an ingrate as she has helped him countless times and even gave a hint to why she believes he's bitter and coming for her. The drama started when Tukema Kenwa posted on an Insta story that if Nigerian celebrities live their lives like Cardi B, they will be called a disgrace, morally corrupt, bad role models, crass, unintelligent, loud, and raz. Hmm. Okay, well. Hmm. Tukes first tweets, I mean, she was saying the truth. True. Because even if... Um, any Nigerian come out and say today I'm a stripper or I'm a prostitute, people will not accept that person the way they're accepting Cardi B. Yeah. And they're saying, oh, well, she's a stripper and she went to appreciate other strippers. And I'm Is she like, a role model? Is she a role model to you anyway, Cardi B? No. Okay, great. Do you think she's loud? Cardi B, yeah, she's loud. I'm sure she Do you think she's raz? Ah, uh, yeah. Do you think she's morally corrupt? Well, who am I to judge who is morally corrupt and not, who is not? I can't judge that. Do you think she's unintelligent? No, I don't think she's unintelligent. Okay, so we're taking away the morally corrupt and the unintelligent part, but you agree to the rest. So to get my work and just sit back down. Why? In my opinion, because um, if you're saying this, first of all, now she's from the Western world, mm -hmm. and that's admissible in that part of the world mm -hmm. for you to behave like that. But obviously, it's against our culture. So you can't be a Nigerian celebrity and you want to come out looking like a Cardi then B, if, acting no, 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 like a Cardi no, no, B. No, 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 no. Maybe you don't... She's maybe, going back wait, to our country. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe you didn't really understand what was going on. A lot of people were coming to, you know, come for Nigerian celebrities and say, oh, they will never do this, they will never do that, they will never do this. But if they did all these things that Cardi did, you guys would come for them and say, that oh they are bad people they are not good role models but you're adoring Cardi B for all these things that if your own people have done I mean if she's coming here let's say we're standing on our moral ground now and Cardi B is in Nigeria now we're all supposed to act like no 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 if you're in Nigeria you don't do this you know the way they do in um, Saudi Arabia they say if you want to perform on our stage you have to be all covered up and all. would have done that so hard to that oh no please don't go to the strippers club oh no please you can't dress like this what's oh wrong, no please you can't act like what's wrong with going hold to on I'm, I don't, there's nothing wrong I'm just okay. saying if we are standing mm. on our moral grounds, yeah, mm. Jigas would have told her that, okay, oh, can it be all the promoters would have said, can it be you're in Nigeria, this is what they want. Down, this like... is, you, you, do you understand where Toke is coming from? Wait. I feel Toke wouldn't have been involved in this or she wouldn't have said anything if Nigerians didn't drag them into it. I mean, to be honest, I saw a lot of people dragging different celebrities into But did this. you see how real, no, let's even forget um, Kadabi's attitude, appearance, and mm. all of that, the Raz. The, did you see how real she was with everyone she met? Mm. Now, I've just seen some of our celebrities out there that you cannot even approach them. They probably have a lot of security details that are telling you, move back, you can't get close to this person. She had a security detail, but she was still like the woman of the people. She was, she carried everyone along. It's such I'm a sorry, little time. Sorry, sorry, Ife, let me cut in here. I mean, I don't know how Cardi B acts over there. Do you understand? Because I'm, I'm not, I don't live mm. there and I don't know. But best believe that the way she acted here, like, it's oh, not the okay, same way it's she not the same way she would act there. there. Okay. You need to understand that. It's, uh, she's here to promote not just Nigeria, but herself. Mm. She's here to make everybody feel like, oh, this is me, Cardi B, and I'm real like that. 
But she's real like that. If you look, if you watch her Insta story, if you watch her Snapchat, because, you can um, tell she's almost I'm the sorry, same. I'm sorry, this is what Kanye is. She's not different from what she's not different yes. from what she displays here in Nigeria to what she does. Exactly. I mean, in real life. I mean, I'm that is basically who she is. But this, and being this is what I think. Like I think she's, 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 she's a down to earth person. She's a real mm. person. Now, there's one thing, there's one good lesson I can get from what Tok has said in all of this that Nigerians were a bunch of hypocrites. True. Yeah. That the very thing we admire in somebody else who is not part of our culture, he yeah. rightly said that in our mm. system, will criticize and calm down any lady who tries to be that same way. But Tucker is like quite unfortunate. It's a culture where you live. It's exactly. the tradition of the culture frowns at it. But if you have the guts enough to want to be a cat B in Nigeria, then go for all the backlash that's going to come with. Nobody's stopping you Nobody, from exactly. being Exactly. Nobody's stopping you from being herself. Of course, she's actually being herself. And that's Tucker is being herself. So and this is it for me. Coming for her. Okay. That's fine. Do you think Tucker is being herself? I'm because I've seen Tucker in being... a private setting, and I've seen Tucker when she's conducting herself, when she's on the red and she's a totally different person. Toke loves to play. Okay, so? Toke is kind of crazy. So because she wants to play, when she's on red carpet, she shouldn't act right. I mean, you don't, you can't play everywhere. Okay, I want to understand now. This this story now is it about Toke? I mean, and and uh, okay, so let's, no, no, let's, no, no, come, like, back, let's come back let's home. Come and let's back. come back home. Yummy Black. Yummy Black. Exactly. Now, um, Yummy Black is saying that look, um, at least she's real enough to say that she's a stripper and mm. she loves to expose her body, but she doesn't do the whole motivational speaker quoting Bible passages and stuff like that. No, it's not so, like some not like some celebrities that like to quote. That was that was a direct sob at Toke. It took a yeah. sob at Mm -hmm. So Toke saw that and he might he no, called her name. Called the name. He actually he called her name. He called her out. To Toke. Yeah, and he said that. that Can we read that? He actually called okay. her out. Yeah. You see why people love someone like Cardi B? She owns. She owns her as mm -hmm. just like the Kardashians. You get what you expect. She hasn't denied being a stripper or enjoying sh or enjoy showing her body. She doesn't go around forming motivational speaker and quoting Bible passages on social media like some saints. Dear Toke, I dare you to openly show how you can afford your lifestyle and don't come with like you're an actress or an OAP because we all know how much you earn. Also, don't spew about endorsement deals because we're in marketing communication and know how much these deals are worth. This has to be the most hypocritical post of 2019. Copied from... Okay, first, I'm going to start with the quoting Bible verse and social media thing. I think Yomi Black needs to calm down. The fact that I can be whatever and I, want, I want to be and still be whatever I want to be with my God. That's right, that's if, right. Yeah, you can. If, that's if right. You're to, right about you're yeah, right about if I want No, no, I mean I want to I want to agree with I want to agree with you that you know you can be you can yeah. you can be the tramp of the street, you know, and still be quoting the scriptures and be a motivational speaker. That's, that's right. That's right. Yeah, that's you can be a dope head, you know what I mean, and still be quoting <laughs> scriptures and you know be giving us now, this are, like, quotes. I like that. This yeah. is soft. This is yeah, like soft. I like that. I can be me. It's strictly between you and your God, you know what I mean? Okay. Well, at the end of the day, I think your me black is also coming from a place where you're not in a position to be telling us how to live our lives because really I think it's coming from you mean, you an mean, inner circle. You mean, you mean messed up, right? Because at the end of it, Tokyo also put out a statement. And so yeah. if, if those, it, it definitely something went wrong between both of them. Right. And if it's based on that ground, if it's on that ground he's coming out to, to get at Tokyo. Come on, bro. You have done better now. Imagine you saying you know, you're such an you should, inspiration. You should, have done, you should have done better. So somebody so, that you think her money is not legal, she's faking whatever she's putting out uh, there. It's such an and inspiration. And I like the way to Toke responded Amazing. to this. She responded like a boss lady, oh, saying yeah. how she has helped him um, achieve a lot of things, how she has done a lot of free shoots for him. And she even gave us a hint as to why he's being bitter, mm. because I think he wanted some of her uh, bags. bag line, mm -hmm. um, some of her bags, and then she he was she was like, no, your you platform pay. hasn't done anything mm. for me, so you have to pay for this one. And then maybe he got bitter over that and he decided to come. So um, I don't know. I think this is an inside gist. So I think Yomi Black knows what we all do not know about how Toke actually makes some money, because it's, he's daring her right I, now. I'm daring him to come out with receipt too and say, Toke, I know that you don't make your money from all these things you say you do. So no, this but is he, he, said, he said it already. Like, you, no, 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 we know you're you no way But you know what? And tell us about endorsements. I have, I, have I, have a come out. I have a problem when a lot of people say, oh, you're not making your money from being an OAP. You're not making your money Especially from because you're because female. Like, I'm going to bring Dotum <laughs> into this because when Dotum bought a scream, <gasps> nobody said, oh. Oh my God, God bless you. I don't said it. Because you're female now, and it, once they it see that you're successful, guys. it yeah. has to be illegal. You know what, I don't guys. get it. You know what, guys? 
I don't have a problem with you making money from what you do. And being an OEP affords you an access to a lot of other things you can do. Mm -hmm. All right, so if Tuck has been an OEP, opened some other doors, doors. for her to do the Even other things she, she's doing, yeah. then so be it. Nobody should come after her because of then that. Then so be it. Um, <laughs> we, can't, we, can't, we can't sit down here and judge one man yeah. for how they decide to live their life and how they I mean. decide to go about making the money. I'm sorry, if, if being an, an international whole pays your bill and that's how you've chosen to live your life, then so be it. That's your life. So it got Cardi B to where she is. I mean, look at it. <laughs> She's so, international. All right, so I think we need to move on to the next story. <laughs> Charlie Boy, popularly called the Area Father, has revealed that he started smoking marijuana in 1968, and he has been smoking for a total of 55 years. In a lengthy post, he took pride in the substance abuse, boasting that the late fella Nicola Kokuti did not smoke as much as him and in Nigeria and in Nigerian English, Naira Mali they learn walk when it comes to marijuana consumption. <laughs> okay, so now, 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 is, is now, now, is, is now, 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 your Majesty sits on the eye table, you are what I need to because I don't get <laughs> okay. it. Okay, five years. All right, all right, so let me break this down. So he's not just talking about the competition, like, oh, I smoke past you, or who they smoke past. That's not what he's trying to achieve from this post. Mm. What he's trying to achieve from this post is that a lot of people are being hypocritical about the values of marijuana, right. such as the health values. The, he said he's more focused when he smokes marijuana. He's more creative. He helps him with aging. He helps him with aging. He uses it for depression, depression and joint and pains, anxiety. and all of that. Yeah. And he also referred to all your states who are who also plan to start exporting marijuana mm. and all of that. So I think it's coming from a good place, but I think the way he communicated this good message is the problem. Comparing yourself to Fela uh, Nicola Kokuti and Naira no Mali. So I don't know. Done he it. could have just said it in a very, I don't know, in a very short and concise just manner. Said just said what you expect? Okay. <laughs> My take on marijuana is, you know, the government knows a whole lot of people smoke it. Right? That's why there's a ban on it. Mm -hmm. um, there are a few countries that have legalized recreation of marijuana. Mm -hmm. So whether you ban it or you don't ban it, people smoke it on the streets, in their mm -hmm. homes. People sure. smoke it, you know? And it's pretty hypocritical. That's what I'm saying. It's okay to take nicotine, but mm -hmm. it's wrong for you to take Indian hemp. Um, even despite its medicinal purpose and what it serves, it's from marijuana they extract the CBD oil. They get mm -hmm. the oil from called CBD. Mm -hmm. And we all know the, the usefulness of the CBD oil. So I think our, our government and those in charge of such you know exactly what it is they're doing. And I totally agree with um, Area Fad on this, Charlie Boy. It's pretty hypocritical. Mm -hmm. um, People smoke it, they smoke it, and there's a ban on it, but people smoke it. And they say that a lot of people that give this marijuana a bad name actually indulge in the act of smoking. Mm. It goes without saying. Mm. Yeah, actually. so a lot of people will come out and say, oh, you smoke, you're this, you're irresponsible. Saying. They talk about narrow mali, but most of them will still go back. We're even talking about in the professional space now. But isn't it now. funny, isn't it ironic? I mean, nicotine, it's, it's okay. It's, yeah. you know, and, and, they tell and that you kills that, you faster. That's it, they tell you, you know, I mean, tobacco smokers are liable to die young. Because there's but nicotine, it, but but marijuana is, is bad. It should be banned, and then we legalize what kills people. Um, it's it's confusing. I think me, um, I'm with you on this one. Yeah. Area father could have said it better. That's all I'm. Yeah. He could have just <laughs> said it better. But, but the father, whole Naramali Dilen walk. Fella no smoke. Fella only publicized his own and he kept his on the wrap. Put that jar uh, right. You know, like the is the area father. You know. Uh, well. Well, 55 years. Congratulations on your 55th well, year I anniversary. Yeah, that's a long time. Yeah, that's a long time. I should long. get the And then the he show. also, yeah. I, I think, it, I think a lot show. of people didn't pick up on this confession that he also tried other drugs. Yeah. That bought, he was able to control this one. He learned how to control mm. his high mm. on marijuana. So, if whatever rocks your boat, that's what I, I just feel about the world. Like, if this rocks just your boat, just make yourself happy. Mm -hmm. If it's marijuana you want to do, mm -hmm. please do your thing. As long as you're not um, being a, 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 a menace to the society when you take marijuana, then all well and good. You know, there's got to be a caveat to that statement, right? Whatever rocks your boat. Somebody will come and tell you that being a pedophile is what rocks my boat. I, I love little no, children. No, I'm talking about the good I'm talking about the good things. I'm talking about the good things that like rock that. your exactly. boat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the good things. Yeah, so uh, there's so, a caveat. So we'll all right, thank yeah. you for, for that information. <laughs> <laughs> 
like I said, you, you see why I said it, as the man who speaks from experience. <laughs> <laughs> so we just place a caveat on that. All right, so it's time for a break. But when we return, we have more stories to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Right now? Oh, <laughs> are you? Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do everybody feeling all right. Bye. That was how they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back and thank you for staying with us. Moving on, Steve Harvey blames teleprompter controller as the reason for his mistake during the Miss Universe 2019, which he hosted. The event took place on Sunday, December 8th. He announced the winner of the national costume contest as Miss Philippines instead of Miss Malaysia. He accidentally made a similar mistake during Miss Universe 2015. Back in 2015, Harvey announced that Miss Colombia won the pageant, but then revealed the misread the card and the actual winner was Miss Miss Philippines. Publish this stunt. Uh, PR. Mm. You think so too? That's what, yeah, that's what it is. Because um, I don't know, fool me once. Never fool me again. <laughs> <laughs> no. Still not really. Are they are they the organizers out of ideas about to create publicity stunt? Mm. It's 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 one too many times. Come on now, for that kind of mistake to be done. So this this is a publicity stunt gone bad. It doesn't cut it for me. Steve Harvey is bigger than this, and mm. come on now. He didn't check, he didn't check. This, this a big, we're talking about one of the biggest pageants in the whole wide world. Mm, and sure. so don't tell me you didn't run through your, your script and to know what it is, you mm. come and the teleprompter is going to put out there. And so if there was an error from the start, he should have known. So and then you know maybe another public, publicity stunt for the organizers for the show, but... <sighs> And then okay, I also think it makes like, him um, uninformed. Sorry that's about it. that. You know, because like, makes him you're supposed to know the winner already. That's before. what I'm saying. Do you understand? So yeah. it makes you very unprofessional. You yeah, shouldn't it's make it's such. Made. So even if you see it and you are informed that no, this is a this is the winner, I shouldn't be calling out this person. You made a statement that, that they should stop playing with him. That this is um, I can't remember how we put it the exact words, but he says something like <clears throat> they should stop it. Like it's not a joke. Something mm. like that. But they're messing with him. Yeah, they're somebody? messing with him, kind of. So I feel. So is maybe, it is it is it saying that the organizers are the ones doing this on purpose? Well, apparently, maybe the person in charge of the teleprompter, because it said it immediately. But in 2015, it wasn't a teleprompter; it was he a card. No, that one he owned up to that. But this particular one, it said it straight up that you people need to stop playing with me. Then it said some other things like it's not a joke and all of that. And in so a I very feel, embarrassing manner, mm -hmm. uh, Miss Malaysia had to grab the mic from him and be like, "It's not Philippines; That's it's why I feel Malaysia." It's all stage, Do you understand? So it's all scripted. Mm -hmm. It's all scripted. It's all right? scripted. All right. So maybe just to get get attention and get people talking about this, because I don't think. A a lot of people actually follow up on the Miss Universe contest. Yeah, anyway. nobody was even so really aware that So this would create a on. Steve Abbey And then, and then how, did Malaysia, how did she know that she was the winner and grabbing the mic and saying it's like not, it's it not was, Philippines? It was all yeah, everything, everything looks dodgy on this one. Mm. So it looks very dodgy. So I really, I just think it's PR stunts. But if it's not, just in case it's not, I think the organizers of Miss Universe should do better. And then if you are going to be the host of such a, a prestigious award, then you should be informed about everything you will be Run talking about. Your script. You should know the winners are at every point in time. We'll go through your script. Steve Harvey is a pro. Come on, we'll look up to him in this thing. Exactly. She, she should keep letting us down this way. All right, so we need to move on to the next story. Can your West cover themselves in silver body paint and full silver matching outfit for new opera, Mary? I don't know what to say on the story. Don't because, we just love? Um, don't we just love to love? I'm gonna tell my kids. This is a man born with this silver spoon. I don't, I, I don't know what to say on the story, but I, I have a lot to it's say. So interesting. But I have a lot to say on this story at the same time because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
is this spiritual in any way? I try to remember my Bible lessons. And it's just like, the costume. Okay, was there anything about silver in the Bible? The only thing that came up is the name, your name is better than silver or gold, or, mm. you know? What's it called? Is that even in the Bible? Kanye. It's not even in the Bible. No, I don't think so, man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I've, I've been trying to think about everything the silver represents in the Bible, and it, I, I can't find anything. So what is the point of this exactly? Well, maybe you can't find anything, but Kanye has said something. Then you should come out and tell, tell Kanye, us. Kanye, Kanye, well, Kanye is a very creative person. Kanye, Kanye is a creative, and most creative draw inspirations from stuff. And so this definitely has a meaning. It's symbolic, mm -hmm. and only Kanye can interpret this for us. Remember yeah. one time he did an art cover where there were all naked people? Mm. Mm. That's Kanye. I mean, so um, life is same, it takes art. And Kanye, it's got to be Kanye. If it's, not, if it's not controversial, if it's not different, if it's not weird, then it's not Kanye. And so he has a reason why he did what he did, and let's appreciate the artistic aesthetic mm -hmm. of this. Okay, but if Kanye. you want to look at it from the artistic side, I think it looks very beautiful. It is. If you look at it from the artistic side, you know, the ocean, the people in all silver tires with the silver body paint and all that, it looks very artistic. But if it's beyond the art, I really want to know what this represents. That's what I'm curious. I'm, I'm hungry for knowledge. Mm. That's why I want to know what the I'm silver sure we'll say represents. It will, it's, it's trending, so it would definitely say something about it to make people understand what exactly was going on or why he thought about doing that. So. All right, so um, that's how we draw the curtains on this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching, and remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. Big shout out to my co-anchors, Ewa and Benny, for never letting us have a dull moment on the show. And the entire production team, I am a fellow Oshinkaya, saying thank you for watching.